Hey everyone, Mark here. Um, wanting to introduce to you the Zero Cup Tournament replay right here on YouTube. Uh, just wanted to uh, start out by just saying, uh, just apologizing right off the bat, um, because for those watching live, you saw we had a couple of system crashes early on. These happened in between the matches, not during a match. So we did have the recordings. The files were corrupt though. So the audio was not exactly lining up with the video when we recovered the files. Um, I've tried the best I could to kind of try to line them up and post, and and so maybe they come out a little bit better. Um, I believe there was one and a half matches that were lost even after recovery. Um, so again, apologize to those teams early on um, that, uh, that that played in the beginning and, and some of that got screwed up. Um, it was a few matches. The rest of the tournament was recorded cleanly, and we will get all of those uploaded for you guys to watch. Um, so go ahead and enjoy. Once again, apologize uh for zero cup or zero hour being an early access game zero cup is an even earlier access tournament than that uh on the first round we believe we'll have it figured out and fixed for the second um uh by the time we do a second tournament we'll we'll have all that sorted out uh enjoy welcome to the replay of the zero cup tournament this is the first match of the tournament starting with team cc versus team too easy because of the odd number of matchups in this tournament, a last minute decision was agreed on with all teams to make the tournament a double elimination. In a double elimination tournament, you have an upper bracket, also called the winner's bracket, because all who remain in the winner's bracket will not have lost yet. Teams that lose will be sent down to the lower bracket, or the loser's bracket, where they have one more chance among other teams who have lost. Teams that lose in the loser's bracket are eliminated from the tournament. The winner's bracket is a best of three games. Each game will be won by the first team to win five rounds. For the loser's bracket, they only have the one game to win and stay in the competition in hopes of redemption in the final. Along with the randomized seeding, this method made it most fair to all teams given the odd number of matchups. For Team CC, and Team Too Easy, the winner will move on to the second series of the winner's bracket. The loser goes down to the lower bracket. So, let's uh, talk about again Team CC is going to be Zcot, Chucky, and Gen, and Team Too Easy is Creedon, JC, and Hydra. Team Too Easy will, will be the defenders first. Um, and yes, I have not seen a whole lot out of Team Too Easy. I haven't seen them play much, so uh, I will be a, a little bit uh, in the dark for their team. But I do know that Team CC, I've seen them play a lot, and they are very good. So this is going to be a, a fun one. So, yeah, we're going to see Hydra go with the wedge. Uh, he's going to wedge that door, the objective right now, with the MP7. JC is going to start with the sticky cam. He's already placed it, and we'll see what his primary is in a moment. Creedon's got the AK... I call it the AKF because it's the AK fake. It's part of the AK class, but it doesn't really exist. Uh, and it has, uh, and he's also um, using armor. Uh, JC looks like he's going with the MP7. Zcot, he's coming in the emergency entrance with the frag. Ganon has the M4. He's already up there in the long haul with the frag. And Chucky's got the Oppressa. That's that MP5 SD. And it's going to go ahead and take out that camera. He got up there really quick. That was uh, very fast. Yeah, and, and when you're doing the fourth floor um, on Hotel Trouble, you kind of you, the nice thing is you have two spots in that fourth floor, and that's kind of the one you want to have as a defender. Um, that's the easiest place for you to go to. But I mean, unlike some other maps, it's not almost a guaranteed win. Um, you're gonna have Zcot uh, hanging off the 304 balcony with Chucky. Ganon's controlling that long haul, actually pushing in. He's already nearly halfway down the hall. Uh, we have Creedon, the only one watching that long haul. He's going to have to encounter all three of them. Oh, just avoiding that frag. Very close frag. And frags and, are very deadly in this game. Yeah, Creedon's in 303, and he's about to get pushed from the other side. They, they know he's there because the door is open, and Zcot will take out Creedon. Hydra can pop up and see Team CC. In the hall. I think Hydra's trying to play it safe here. Zcot's gonna throw a grenade. Will it hit? Oh no. It does not. Yeah, Zeke, uh, Hydra still hasn't left that room. JC's got the protection. 
He's just going to wait for the push-up, which is probably not as, uh, a bad idea when you're outnumbered at this point. Just stay there. Ganon's just trying to take some precautionary fire into that room. Oh, Ganon does spot where JC is now. Ganon's down, down to 55 health. JC's going to open the door. Chucky's going to take down Hydra. And JC gets Ganon, who's on the ground, and Zekai will take out JC. Team CC taking the first round. One thing to note is that the hostage cannot be hurt. Well, I mean, it, it can be hurt. You lose points if you uh, damage the hostage, but he cannot be killed. So if they wanted to throw an aid in there, if the door was, uh, door was open, they very well could have. Yeah, we saw Hydra actually play the objective the whole time. And, and that, you know, while they might be safe from some bullets, it doesn't actually... Uh, it doesn't mean you're safe from the nades, which that, that, those things can be... Huh, it, it sucks to get hit one of those because you see it coming and then you just don't know what to do about it. It's just like, well, guess I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, grenades are pretty hard to escape. And we saw Zeke out with two kills there. Yeah, and I believe... Let's see, they're going... Are they doing the same... Floor? No, they're going to change it up a little bit. Uh, it seems like they're going to go try that third floor housekeeping room this time. Hydra's going with the MP, uh, uh, MP7 and Wedge, which he's already used. Credon's got the Deagle and Armor uh, using the AK. JC's got a sticky cam that he's uh, used again, and we will assume he's probably going to go with that MP7 again. Zcot has a frag, uh, Ganon has the M4 and frag, Chucky's got the Oppressor and frag. I'm not sure what Zcot's using quite yet, and JC is using the MP7. Zcot's repelling up the balcony. As uh, is Ganon. Zekot's going to go to the uh, second floor first, and Ganon's going to go straight to the third floor. No one's covering 207, so he will be clear there. Unless he wants to push up with Zekot now. Looks like they're taking it a little bit slower this time. Yeah, they're they're... Pacing themselves a little bit, moving together. I mean, Chucky's now in 207, uh, so he's going to be, be the one getting uh, sight. And Ganon takes out Creedon in that room, that first room, uh, 201. Zekot's now pushing in, expecting to see. Ooh, that was... Very close. Looks like he might have gotten... Nope, JC no in there. That's JC. Oh, yeah, yeah JC did take some. And Zekot will take out JC with the frag. And Hydra getting picked off by Ganon in that closet. Team CC will take two. Uh, this is a tough situation if you're the defense. As for a game that's kind of heavily skewed, uh, not so heavily, but let's say the, the, the scales are tipped a little bit in the defense's favor in this game. Um, you do not want to be down 2-0 on your final defense before swapping sides. Right, yeah. Uh, Zcot has three kills, Ganon has two, Chucky has one, everyone doing a little bit of something. JC is the only one on Team 2 Easy who's managed to take out anyone in this match, but they will have a third chance. Creedon will start with armor, Hydra will start with the wedge and the MP7, JC will start with the MP7 and a sticky cam. He's going to place that sticky cam, I think, a little bit too short in the hall by that time you pretty much have the information you need if it's that but we'll we'll see how that works out uh an interesting spot yeah Creedon starting with the mp7 and we're gonna have ganon climbing up to the restaurant balcony right away with the m4 and frag chucky and zcot will take the emergency entrance while ganon will set up upstairs in the fourth floor and I feel like the top floors, they're pretty much the most favored defense spots. Um, nobody really ever goes to the bottom floor, the second floor here. So it's kind of hard to switch it up uh, when the, the floors are balanced like that. Yeah, I mean, the, the second floor is usually like your third choice if you've won the first two on the first on the fourth floor, because it's just, you know, you can use that open floor plan to your advantage. But uh, it seems like Zcot and Chucky were both hanging off of the 304 balcony. Uh, no one's really going to be there. They're going to stay closer to the objective as Ganon has pushed down the hall again. I mean, this is the same strategy that worked that worked for them the first time, so why not try it again the second? Um, yeah. Hydra is going to be the closest defender to Team CC. They are now together as an element, and Hydra is going to wait for the first push. Ganon clearing room 303. Zcot's just in the other cutout in front of Hydra. And Zcot's going to be on the ground peeking over the shoulder. 
It looks like they're all going to try to make it up that hallway, probably at the same time. Hydra might be able to get some of them. He did see the nade, and he probably, he, it was arcing upward as it crossed him. That should give him enough information to tell them exactly how close they are. I'm not sure what his secondary is. His primary, uh, his primary utility is a wedge. I don't know if he's used his secondary yet. I would probably throw it now. I mean, he can wipe yeah. them all out right now. They're, they're clustered, uh, except Ganon pulled all the way back. He might be worried that they'll scatter once he pops it. And that, that might be what they're trying to bait him to. Yeah, I think Ganon's going to try to relocate entirely to get better, better sights for his team. He's down on the second floor going up a different staircase. Yeah, using those staircases to your advantage is pretty nice on this uh, map. You can pinch people that way, especially since there's two. They come from uh, different angles, and that's right. exactly what he's trying to do. Looks like he's coming up the south staircase, I believe. No, that's the west staircase. He's coming up the west staircase to get a better view. And Zeke pokes out to get Hydra! Ganon Just checks not. the other angle. JC's... Right behind him, he can do some damage! Ganon will take out Credon. it's just gonna be JC left, and he's gonna get pushed by Ganon, and they will be taken out quickly, getting swept by the attacking team. And now that Team CC is gonna be on defense, that's gonna make it just that much harder for Easy, because, uh, as you said, defense is definitely the, the more favored um, position to be in. Oh, for sure. Uh, and, and uh, I, you know... Tactics is, I mean, look, the, tactics is a big part of, the, of Zero Hour, that's for sure. Um, but uh, it seems like gun game-wise, too, they're a little bit slow on that and only getting one kill as a team, and that's just only JC. Uh, the basic of, of any first-person shooters, you got to get the kills down. Um, but, yeah, they, they, they will have to... It seems like they're only going to win on tactics against this team. Right. So Ganon will use the sticky cam to watch the objective, uh, and Team CC is going to go with the second floor first, um, maybe just trying to get that out of the way, um, so they don't have to fall back to that later. Uh, we'll, uh, I mean, that, that, the other thing too is it plays to different people's play styles too, right? Some people like to start with that second floor because of that open restaurant that we're seeing through Zcot's eyes right now, with that armor and AK. Uh, Chucky's got the MP7, and we uh, saw him put do the sticky already. Again, we saw him do the sticky, but Chucky has the sticky as well. Yeah, in my opinion, this is definitely a, a hard floor to attack, so uh, Team CC might just be testing them a little bit. Right. Uh, and, and, and JC has the oppressor. Ganon takes out Hydra. One attacker down already. Uh, so Creedon's going to be hanging off that side with the Scar. JC is up on the third floor. He's trying to come in from the top down. And these defenders can very easily hear when those uh, grapples or repels or whatever you want to call them uh, are used. So Creedon's going to definitely want to be a little bit cautious here because whoever's uh, near him there is going to know that he's coming. Yeah, and it seems like that was Ganon who was watching that. Um, and... He should have enough information to, to know ex where, where Ganon is. Creedon should know where, where Ganon is, at least roundabout. That's why he's kind of like trying to peek the side there. Uh, Zcot, I believe he was pre-fired. Oh no, he's shooting in at JC, who is right there at the doorway, and Ganon will take out Creedon. And... I mean, it was a tough spot before, but it really is now with Team CC uh, one match or one round away from sweeping. And of course, uh, this is best of three, so this is, definitely wouldn't be the end for Team uh, Too Easy. No, it certainly would not. And we have Team Ganon with six, Team Zeke, oh, sorry, Ganon rather, with six, Team Zekop with five, and Chucky with one. Chucky hasn't really done much since the early parts um, when they were. Uh, attacking mainly because his teammates are picking it up not for any not not to put down chucky for anything but the rest of his teammates are picking up <laughs> picking up everybody as they come up uh zcot will start with armor and the oppressor ganon will have the m4 and armor chucky will have the mp7 and the sticky cam that he's already placed Creedon and hydra are choosing the emergency entrance jc will take out the camera and the front with the oppressor i think i saw that that's what i saw and a frag uh, Creedon's got the scar. He's going to check to see if anyone's trying to peek out of, out of that top window. And 
I missed what Hydro was carrying. He's got the M4. And you'll notice a pretty popular feature of this game. Uh, we saw the defense with an M4, uh, which takes away a weapon from the offense for the next round. Yeah, and, and, and Chucky went ahead and he popped somebody hanging off of that uh, balcony and now getting pushed outside by Zcot. Oh, getting wow. hung out to dry. JC's rushing the objective. Oh, Team CC might actually be too aggressive here. Someone is just outside and Ganon will take out JC. That was a brave push. Yeah, JC asked for it with the bait and he got it. Ganon getting the MVP in that match. Oh, JC Very was well. looked like he was. Yeah, he was. He was just trying to like push it, but I think he just saw Team CC just be pretty much unstoppable there. Um, but you know, we shall. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> exactly. After game one of series one between CC and Too Easy, CC takes the first one, putting Too Easy in a tight spot. If Team Too Easy loses Game 2, they will get sent down to the loser's bracket, and Team CC will move on to the second series. Here's Game 2 between CC and Too Easy. And I'm wondering why Easy chose this map. I wonder if this is something that they've, uh, I don't know if they've played a lot together. Yeah, I mean, with them attacking first, um, I think it goes back to what we were just talking about a minute ago, just getting more information um, as an attacker uh, with, this, with the see-through glass that you can't shoot through, um, right? More information is always beneficial uh, to the attacker as much as you can get uh, in this game like Zero Hour, where the uh, defense can be really holed up. Uh, Ganon's going to start with the MP7 and Frag for round one. Zcat's going to start with the MP7 and Armor. Chucky's got the MP7 and a sticky cam that he has already placed, and he's looks like he's in that restroom. I'm not sure what floor exactly that is on, um, but if the I objective had, is on the first floor waiting room. If I had to guess, he put it in that uh, back door room so he could see when they open that door if that's where they choose to come through. Right. It looks like JC's coming through there. And oh, Hydra took Hydra. out Chucky. That's big. Yeah, and Ganon will take out JC out the door. It's now 2v2. <coughs> two two. Uh, looks like Hydra and Creedon are going to just play the outer perimeter. Uh, try to figure out a better way to get in. With a, they're down. Team CC is down a Chucky. Um, so Zcot is just getting in the sights in there. <laughs> oh, he's going to take wow. some hits down to 73. He didn't really get hit for all that much damage. Um, the... Oops, sorry, let me go ahead. We have... It's like somebody... Nope, not on the stairs. Somebody is on the third floor, though. Uh, on offense. Free down... Creeping up that staircase. Yeah. Uh, he might be in a good position to take out Ganon. Ooh. Oh. Just gets behind that bulletproof glass right Very in time. Lucky. Yeah, he, he didn't take any hits off of that because he popped back inside fast enough. Zcot's down below. Hydra's up above. And Ganon's going to try to see if he can get a better position up on Creedon. Oh, and Zcot oh. takes out Creedon. Oh. Creedon got a little too comfortable going down the stairs there, and uh, Zcot was ready and waiting for anyone who was going to rush down. Hydra has the information on Zcot's location, so he's going to just check downstairs. Prepping a grenade, it might. No. But he did seem to know that Zcot was there. And Ganon looks like he's going to try to push that staircase. Changed his mind a little bit. Hydra's yeah, going just, all yeah. the way back to Short Hall and, and go down to the second floor. Ganon probably knows this already because he's already pointed that oh, direction. Yeah. And Ganon will Damn. take out Hydra. He was already set up. He must have heard him. And it looks like he's going to take his weapon too. Yeah. That'll bring, uh, that'll be, make Team Too Easy short a weapon. They're out of M4s right now. That was uh, a little bit, uh, I would say, 
evenly matched, more evenly matched game. Uh, they took their time. Team e Too Easy did. Uh, and Hydra was able to get one kill. Yeah, I, I, their, their push was perhaps a little bit more conservative um, than before. We saw them adjust their whole plan going around the exterior perimeter, uh, getting into a new position. Um, and so, you know, maybe a little bit more of that might be good for them. This is an interesting spot for a, a sticky cam by Chucky. Uh, Ganon's got that M4, as does Zcot, so that's where all the M4s went. Looks like Credon's coming in with the frag. We have Hydra with a scar. JC uh, still kind of waiting and seeing what happens with the... Credon's got the oppressor. Credon's got the oppressor, yep. That good old MP5 SD. SD because it's got the suppressor built into it. It's pretty neat. Credon going up that, that long haul again that's very dangerous. Yeah, on the first floor, he can at least hop out. It looks like JC is going to go on the rooftop entry. Uh, Credon's taking the... F the Okay, he's going to like, climb up the balcony, as is Hydra. They all might be choosing a roof entry, except for Credon. Wouldn't be a bad idea. That's not like a super popular way to go in, so uh, Team CC might not be expecting that. Yeah, you would think the rooftop would be like the more obvious... like. Kind of, oh yeah, do that. But uh, it's, I think because it's so obvious, the defense just doesn't really guard it that much. <laughs> yeah. Plus the staircase is going to be pretty dangerous. Yeah, Ganon's looking right where Creedon is, and uh, they might see each other. Ooh, Ganon's going to pull back. They just missed each other by seconds. Creedon is now boots on the ground, second floor. And Z Chucky will take out JC in the bottom of the staircase. Hydra sees that where JC's dead body is, so he knows that there's trouble down there. Creedon's creeping up. He's got a little bit of distance between him and uh, both offenders. Let's see how he decides to push that. If you're just joining us, this is the first match of the April 2021 Zero Cup Tournament for a hundred bucks for the winning team. And oh, Hydra will take out Chucky. It's actually going to be three on two now. Oh, two on two. And yeah, Zcot. Hanging yeah. around that hostage room. Yeah, Zcot gets a kill there. It looks like it's going to be just Hydra on his own. He's got 53 health, and Zcot's also in a good position to get eyes. Zcot just pulled back right before he came around that corner. Yeah, Hydra's on that balcony hall of the second floor, and now popping out just might. Ooh, they're 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 basically looking at each other. They're both saying, I know you want to. Zcot's down to 20 health. Hydra's down to 26. One more bullet could take out either one of them. And Zcot will take out Hydra. Team CC. Now two rounds in the lead. This match will eliminate Team Too Easy if they cannot get any more wins in this match. Or at least... Just get win, you know. Get get to the five rounds required to win the match. Hydra with two kills this time. JC was the uh, the one who who was kind of doing more damage for Team Too Easy in the last match. Team Hydra, the one in uh, sorry, Hydra is the one in this uh, match for his team that's doing three hundred and forty two damage, and that, that's better than anyone on Team CC. But you got to get the other teammates to get on board. For uh, Ganon, he's going to go with the M4 and Wedge. Zcot with armor and Chucky with a scar and Wedge. Locate and the bomb. It looks like Zcot might be expecting them to repel up, so he's going to hang out up top above that hostage. Kradon's yeah. coming in. Uh, Hydra, we've got him with an MP7 and a frag. Uh, 
Not sure what JC's got yet, but he does have that Fragonade. I'm assuming most people are going with double frags here. Yeah. Creedon picked up an M4 again. Might have got it back from, from the uh, defenders. JC's got the Oppressor. And he does see Elevator being covered through the window. And Chucky will take out Creedon coming up the short hall. Oh. Chucky's got Hydra there to deal with, too. He might get two in a row here. And that oh, frag is just short. Up. And pushing out is oh, Ganon, who takes out JC, and Zika will take out Hydra. Wow. And we saw a trade there, and that happens uh, pretty often. Yeah, and, and, and so Team 2 Easy getting swept again in their uh, um, attack is now going to have to get on the defensive side at least now that you're defending previously they got swept while being a, while being defenders now uh, they will have a chance to defend which kind of gives them a little bit more of an advantage and they seem to be playing better in this match than in the previous match so I wouldn't necessarily count them out being down three rounds no I mean they've certainly uh, seemed to work out a game plan a little bit better in this match yeah so it looks like Creedon picked up that M MP7 for this? Yeah, he's going to go with the MP7 and the sticky cam that he's already placed. Hydra's got the MP7 as well. Sticky cam, looking for where to put that. And JC has the armor. Not sure what his primary is, but it looks like the defenders are going to go with the first floor waiting area. In that first floor, this is what I was talking about with that open area that you can see from the second floor. Uh, that's certainly advantageous uh, if they just want to hang out on the second floor and try to get a, a kill while somebody's defusing. Yeah, uh, Zekat going with the oppressor. Uh, Chucky's was shooting his pistol. Not sure what his primary is. Um, Ganon has the M4. Zekat will enter into the power switch drop, or at least he's hovering over it. Now he will drop in. Just getting sights on Creedon. Wow! And Hydra seeing Zekat rush wow. in doesn't finish off Zekat. Only Zekat is down to 36 health. But yeah, and Zekat will take out JC. An ace. Wow. That's a three-man ace for Zekat. Just in the the right man in the right place at the right time. And that's going to put Zekot. He's going to have a little... Yeah, he's up to seven kills. Zero deaths. Okay. Yeah, when you talk about teams, sometimes that... that who's the guy you got to get out? Who's the carry? Well, in this case, in this match, it looks like it's going to be Zekot for Team CC. And as defenders, you're just looking at that kill feed, looking for that breath that you can take by just seeing that zekot has been taken down. And Hydra had such a good opportunity there. Look at the damage that he's done. But it just just wasn't enough to take out Zekot. Creedon's going to go with the AK and armor. Hydra's got the MP7 and sticky. JC has armor as well. Uh, just kind of running around with a pistol. Now, you for newer players to Zero Hour, you might see some players coming out with their pistol uh, because they're trying to preserve their stamina. The uh, stamina drains a little slower when you have the pistol out versus the primary. Uh, JC's using that AK for his primary, by the way. Zekot's coming up over the top. Oh, looks like Zekot and Ganon are going to come up to Billiard's room. And that seems to be where the hostage is. This is a this is a fun room to defend and attack. This is kind of like a I don't know. I always kind of have a funny time trying to go in there. And Zekot encountering trouble in the stairs, and uh, whoever that is in the stairs, that's JC, will retreat. It actually might be trying to get to a better position. Forty seconds in, and Zekot is down the stairs already, taking fire through. That's a lot of that was bulletproof. But Hydra did manage to take some damage as well as dealing just a little bit. 12 damage. Ganon trying Zekot to get that little corner. Made. Maybe could squeak it in there. Yeah, and it looks like Chucky took out Creedon watching that long haul. There was that long haul we talked about earlier in uh, the, the map prep part. Uh, ooh, Zekot taking fire from across there. Now he's going to throw that nade. And Hydra will avoid it and manages to take out Zekot. There's that breath of fresh air they're looking for. Oh, Chucky takes out J JC and it's going to be down to Hydra, who now sees where Chucky is, but he's just shooting the couch and Chucky will take out Hydra. It'll be another sweep. The couch is bulletproof. Yes, it is. Zekot with the MVP here. Seven kills, experiencing death for the first time. In this match, 
And it'll be Team CC moving on to take on Team Imagine. We found out after the game was finished that it was being played under protest by Team Too Easy because Team CC had committed a spawn peak. At the time of this recording, I did not get clarification on the moment in question, but after reviewing the footage, I believe it was in round three when Chucky killed Creedon. The spawn peak rule is that the attackers must be allowed to cross the game's sp invisible spawn peak barrier until 40 seconds into the round. That's when defenders are allowed to cross that barrier by the game's settings. Basically, until the clock reads 3 minutes 20 seconds left in the zero cup matches, at the time that Chucky killed Creedon, it was approximately 3 minutes 23 seconds left in the clock. Just 3 seconds too early. The spawn peak rule does not apply to attackers shooting in or who had repelled the building, by the way. Teams had been warned since day one of ELO matches that the spawn peak penalty in the tournament would be a match forfeit. And the rules had, had been there from the beginning, from when the tournament was first announced. So on a rule violation, the series is tied between CC and Too Easy. We now move on to the rubber match, the deciding game for one of these teams to move on and the other team to get sent down to the loser's bracket. Let's do it. And for Team Too Easy, Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> Reich Marshall. Uh, Spawn Peak and JC. Who is that again? Is that uh, CC? We have Zcot, Ganon, and Chucky. Oh my goodness! Is that JC? I think that's no. That that is JC. Uh, Hydra, right? Is is who else is on there? <laughs> is that Big Body? Might be Big Body. Um, all right, on the defense, you have Zcot with the armor going down the long haul uh, restaurant balcony on the on that fourth floor. Ganon's going to just try to cut him off before they even have a chance. Okay. That's second floor, MP7 and Sticky Cam Chucky. He's holding onto a deagle and armor. And for the attackers, you have Spawn P coming in the emergency Hydra and JC coming in on the side. They're not going to take any chances at all on that balcony. Actually, it seems like they're going to try to go around the back and just try to gather on that south staircase spawn peak throwing a frag up above um not gonna quite reach that high you have to have quite an arm uh maybe trying to see if, if someone like chucky who's in room 207 is on the balcony um yeah. so we now have hydra and jc yeah, we haven't really seen anybody have a strong play on the stairs yet. We've seen some people uh, use that as like a flank, but we haven't seen that as an entry point yet. Oh boy, Hydra comes out just where Ganon is there. Oh. Yeah. Looked like his uh, muzzle clearance wasn't going to allow that to happen, but... Yeah, his spidey senses were tingling. Just felt like, oh, somebody's down here on the second floor. Will they expect Chucky on the third floor? I feel like Chucky, he always tries to find a place that's, like, not going to be seen or not going to be expected so that he can get a, a nice, little, nice little kill. But he's uh, he's just snaking down that hallway. And it looks like Spawn Peak is going to be underneath. Uh, the, uh, Chucky heard it. But is he going to keep focusing on it? He's, he's going to check back on it, but I think he's going to try to come for Hydra. Ooh, Hydra doing the right thing, checking the back, but let's see, JC is going to throw the flash out there. Now Hydra's going to let it go. Oh, Chucky is going to start pushing in here now. Oh, he sees him. And he's going to get Hydra out, and then <laughs> JC's in trouble. He's dead. Oh, it's just Spawn Peak. Spawn Peak taking out Zcot with the frag. Chucky going long and doesn't quite hit the doorway, and Chucky will take out Spawn Peak. Many kills. Uh, very short period of time, right? Well, Chucky. The double kill by Chucky was insane. Yeah. And, and, and then finishing off Spawn Peak in the end for the three man ace. That was a pretty incredible play by Chucky. Um, yeah, just to remind you, he is one of the people you see up there in that leaderboard on Zero Hour. I want to say he was in first place uh, at some point. 
He was. There was a, there was a lot of uh, back and forth between some people. We have seen Chucky do some ELOs before. Uh, Ilham was also up there, number one. We've seen him in the ELOs before. He's number one on. Uh, he was number one for a while on the Zero Hour leaderboard. I don't know what it is right now at this moment. It'll be interesting, but it's been kind of a back and forth play as people were trying to get across their first million points in Zero Hour. Chucky's going to start with the MP7 and Sticky. Zcot behind the bar with armor and the AK. Ganon has the MP7. He's going to play in front of the bar uh, for anyone who comes up that restaurant balcony. The only one who probably would would be JC, and it doesn't seem like he will. He is coming towards Chucky, though. Chucky's playing the bottom of the staircase. <laughs> How does Chucky find himself in the right spot? Spawn Peep's going to go ahead and throw that frag up there. Now... Ooh, Chucky, you should hear that repel. He's gonna start to peek out now. JC moving up slowly, still looking up, but he should be looking down at Chucky, who takes out JC. Yeah, those stairs are a bad place to try to repel up, in my opinion. You know, you, t you typically can do that safely, but you just don't expect Chucky to be there. Just <laughs> don't... Yeah. Uh, nobody expects the Chucky. Alright, Spawn Peak is now coming up. And getting pre-fired. I believe that was Zcot who left in the balcony. Hydra down below on the first floor. Spawn peak. Can we just? I feel like this is. Oh, Hydra. Taking out Ganon. Can we just get a confirmation on which player Spawn peak is? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't. I don't remember who that is. It's got the, uh, it smells like a Robin Sage kind of name. See, Hydra sees Chucky coming down, but Chucky gets the drop on Hydra and Team CC. It's off? A-W-H, maybe? Yeah, that's Big Body, but that's, I don't know. I saw Robin Sage there, and Robin Sage usually has the, the name-changing thing he does. <coughs> so, for... Team too easy. You're gonna have Hydra and Spawn Peak with three kills together, but Team CC with six kills, Chucky <laughs> making up for five of them. Yeah, Chucky's having some big plays this game. Yeah, we've seen Chucky kind of uh, low on the kill counter, um, but not for lack of ability, more because just his teammates were doing a lot of the work ahead of him. I mean, he he has he was a positive KD despite the low kill count early on. He doesn't really put himself out there as much. He, he's a little bit more cautious, cautious, but he does have the gun skills that uh, the other guys have. Yeah, we'll see Zcot test the camera, and he's going to try to reposition it on that 207 sign. Ganon with the frag and the deagle. We'll see what his primary is in a moment. Wedge and MP7 for Chucky. Primary for Ganon will be the MP7. He's going to watch that lobby where Spawn Peak is looking to see who's looking at the lobby with the oppressor. And JC coming around the outside, as is Hydra. Hydra's got that C2. It's not... I don't think we've seen that used today, that utility. I, I really, honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anybody use that. It's a little bit a little bit risky to use. Uh, Hyjad, oh, sorry, Hydra and uh, JC are going to check the south staircase before going up. It does not look like Chucky's there this time. Yeah, the the way that that Chucky... No, wait, he is. Is, is that him? No, he is actually not there. It's Ganon this time that's there. Oh, man. And uh, just getting enough to... Did he touch... Yeah, he touched JC a little bit. They're going to now throw frags down there. Are any of them going to hit Ganon? No, they will not. It looks like they actually blew up on the stairs above. And I think they're going to give Ooh. up on that, that attempt. Yeah, you could say what you will about, you know, Ganon maybe not being able to take someone out there or, you know, maybe that wasn't the best spot. But hey, you made the attacking team reposition. And not only that, you made them use up three of their utilities in yeah. one go. Well, Zcot was going to test the balcony out, but everyone on Team Too Easy choosing the stairs. Uh, Spawn Peak is actually out on the second floor now. Wasn't there someone else just there a minute ago? Ooh, Chucky's watching right on that west staircase. Mm. 
who wants to test the waters first? He knows they're there. Yeah, he can get the feeling. Hydra is the one that's actually on the door. JC's playing behind it. And no one else is going to look at it. Is Hydra going to say... <laughs> I think Hydra's going to make JC go first. Yep. Opening the door. Chucky's now going to start firing right in there. JC trying to f science this out. Figure out where that angle was coming from. Okay. Spawn Peak is Robin Sage, by the way. Just got that. That's It definitely okay. had the name play of Robin Sage. Got it. Robin Sage takes out Chucky. <coughs> and Zcot takes out JC at the door. That'll push make Hydra push up. And Ganon mm. will take out Robin Sage. Hydra must have done some damage there. Yeah. Zcot's down to 51 health. Hydra's down to 58. Ganon down to 35. Everyone playing weak here. Hydra might be... He's going to protect against the south push. Only 40 seconds left. Yeah, I was gonna say, he should probably be pushing it himself. And... Yeah, Zcot and Ganon are just going to reset defenses. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds left. This looks like it's going to go the way of Team CC. Again. Hydra just not exactly sure how to approach this. I mean, it's... it's oh, really Hydra! Yeah. Getting distracted by Zcot and does not realize that Ganon's off to the side, but it'll be Zcot that finishes the job anyway. Team CC sweeping their defenses. So, Robin Sage, Hydra... Two kills each. Chucky with five. Zcop with three. Ganon with one. And this time it's going to be Ganon who gets to put his feet up and let everyone else do the work on his team. Use the planning table to find yeah, usually he's uh, up there with the kills, but... Yeah, I mean, it, this... <laughs> team CC is just too strong. They're just built yeah. with so many good attackers on their side. I mean, they're certainly the team to beat. And... You can bet anyone in this tournament remaining has them circled and looking Locate and the bomb. for when they have to face them. JC with the sticky, Hydra with the wedge and MP7. Uh, Robin Sage is going to go with the Mac 10 and Frag. <coughs> for the attackers, you have Zcot with the Frag and I think that was the Oppressor. Ganon, he's taking out that camera with the M4 at the long haul. Chucky's coming up in the balcony as well with the oppressor. And all of them choosing frags. It's not totally out of character for attacking in Zero Hour on Hotel Trouble. Yeah, that's sort of the uh, most popular decision. Ganon just holding that long haul with the M4. Uh, he's going to try to push in now. He's pretty much safe, except for that person on the... Uh, the Hostage room. Uh, Ganon was trying to clear the opening there. Good thing the door wasn't open because Zcot and Chucky are going to be safe thanks to the door being closed. Uh, it'll be. Yep. Yeah, they're going to try to pre fire into 303. Ganon will now clear 303, making sure no trouble's going to come out of there. And Chucky's just going to keep pre firing out of there, trying to bait out some fire. He does get some back from Hydra, but none of them connect. I can get a nade into that linen room. Uh, be great for them. Actually, I'm not sure. No, they do not have somebody in the. Uh, I can't tell if that person's in the linen room or not. I think he is. Yeah. Yeah, he, he is. is. That's almost a guaranteed kill if they can get that nade in there. The door is wide open. For Hydra too. And there is a frag coming out by Chucky. That is going to be out of range of anybody. Ooh. When you're playing and this long hallway, you just got to hack away little by little. <laughs> yeah, Hydra's going to go ahead and attack the push. And Robin Sage is out to take out Ganon. Zcot takes out Robin Sage.
And Hydra just took out Chucky. Just as we and were about to swap to him. Kill right there. Yep. Ooh, what a nade by Zcot, and then taking out Hydra. Team CC 4-0. About to sweep Team Too Easy if they can win another attack. Team Too Easy has to get together their defense. This is no different than what we saw earlier today. Yeah, I mean, Team CC has a lot of uh, flexible players, like being able to move around, and then also they're just so darn accurate in their yeah. gunfights. You have uh, Zika and Chucky both breaking the 600 mark in damage, and Robin Sage and Hydra both breaking 500. So it's it's close damage wise. Sure. But we have Robin Sage with the MP7 and armor playing the stairs. Hydra with the MP7 and a sticky cam. JC has a sticky cam that he's used, uh, looking like Zcot and Ganon are coming out. Nope, that is Chucky. Sorry, Zcot and Chucky coming out of play the emergency. That side room. Again, it's going to take that long hallway again. Yeah, we, we have not seen that triangle formation that you usually do on Hotel Trouble be used in this case at all. And so that just leaves some holes for entry when you're too focused on, on one area like the stairs is. Especially when you need to be covering as much as possible on a team that moves around as much as Team CC does. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, Team Too Easy, they're doing everything right. It's just, uh, it's hard to defend uh, certain people sometimes. This is a, a tough squad. They definitely want to make sure that they have somebody on the hostage because that's a pretty easy defuse if they can get in that room. And Zcot taking out Hydra in the objective room. That is now Chucky coming up on the stairs. Robin Sage, if he opens up that door, he'll find uh, that Team CC is right out there. And Chucky will get taken out by CC. Zcot take out, takes out JC, and Zcot takes out Robin Sage. Robin Sage had the drop. Yeah. He Good was attempt, in the best but, position. Uh, so, Team out. CC wins. After Game 3, Team CC will move on to face Team Imagine in Series 2 of the winner's bracket. Team Too Easy will move down to the loser's bracket, where one match loss means elimination from the tournament. That concludes the first match in Series 1 between CC and Too Easy. Subscribe to catch the rest of the tournament and more ELO matches to come from Season 3 later. To join in the ELO action and get the first information in the next tournament, join the Discord from the link in the description below. Catch you in the next series.